hard jimbers. So hello, hello, hello. Today I'd like to take a look at a couple of saws that I got. Um, second hand actually, I had one um, that I bought in Lidl, uh, the supermarket chain, and uh, it was made by Flora Best. It's a really good saw. I was su quite surprised by it. It's under 200 swatty, which is in English money, so it's just about 40 quid. And I thought, hmm. I doubt that'll last long, but in natural fact, no, it proved me wrong, it lasted for ages. Um, it has a, uh, well this is not the same one, but um, this is a second hand one, as I say, I bought it because, well I thought, excellent, you know, party time, it's excellent. Um, that's the auto stop, so you put it foot towards you to, to, to operate it, it's electric obviously, and if you want to stop it, you can press that forward, or you can obviously just let go of the uh, trigger release, you know, you have to push your thumb there and then that, that will then operate the saw, you know, were it to be plugged in sort of thing. So that's a 2200. I had to do some modifications to it. Um, I bought a new chain for it, as you can see there, it's nicely tensioned up. And I had to buy a new tensioner. Um, I don't know if I've still got the old one. Um, should have thought about this a bit more. Yeah, I have. But that's the old one there. I've put in a broken Flora Best chain adjuster. So what you're looking at is um, it's a, it's a mechanical piece that obviously takes a lot of brunt. You know, it takes a lot of uh, vibration. Uh, this this lives underneath that, so it's inside the saw. It's in it's in inside that green here. And this you can do just by finger tightening. The black is the adjustment for the chain, the chain tension. And the red is the, um, the the lock, you know. So what was happening was this was effectively, you can see there's a worm gear there. So as you turn the black, it tightens the chain. But you, as you can see, it's loose. It's just slipping, 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 slipping. So that had to be replaced. That wasn't cheap, actually. That was 50 swatty, so um, 10 pounds. So that was on top of the uh, the price of the saw. Not so bad. And then I got this one, which is awesome. I like it a lot. This one's 2,300. Both these saws are f from supermarkets, but they're, this one's called Top Best. But they're both made in Germany. They're both really, really well made. And that one, they're all full of oil. I put, obviously, you have to put, um, you have to put uh, oil in them to lubricate the chain. And uh, I don't think I get out. Yeah, there you go. Dumb's a box of rocks, me. That's the sort of oil you need. This is in Polish, of course. Well, the pił one to chowek means um, chainsaw oil, um, and it's a sort of a special grade that that, that that saws like, you know. So do put the correct stuff in. Don't try and put engine oil in there because it won't won't work as well. That's a fact. And it's probably best to replace the chains if you're buying saws. These are both new chains. You can sharpen the chains, um, but you can see here, for example, that's quite a newish chain, the one down below. But look, they wear out; they get shorter. The cutting, the cutting uh, edges get much, much shorter. You can see the difference. That's much longer, isn't it? That one than that one. But you can get, you can get like kit, you know, some. I don't know whether I've got it had to hand, probably have. I should have used another of these deranged darn videos that I'm not actually. There you go. That's what you need to sharpen the, the saws with. It's quite quite the kit, you know. I'm getting out. There we go. I do a lot of uh Chainsawing. There's, 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 your, there's your saw cutting kit, yeah? Okay. So you've got a handle in there. That's your handle. And uh, you put the you put the saw ends into that. So you've got these various different files that fit this handle, obviously. That's a um, an adjuster you clamp onto the chain so you've got the correct angle to, to sharpen the chain at. And then you can use a, a, a normal file, flat file, to uh, take off the burrs that are on the uh, are on the ends of ends of the uh, cutting teeth. 
So it's quite good. What happens is you get, you get, you know, one tooth comes in one side, one tooth comes in another, and they make a channel. That's how a chainsaw works. And these, these, these chains. You have to make sure you've got the right one. The correct amount of millimeters and the correct amount of teeth, obviously. Otherwise, you're never going to adjust the thing up. It's always just going to be too long or too short. But um, yeah, yeah, that comes with it. I mean, they they do tend to tell you on the, on the. Um, they do tend to tell you what sort of bits you need for replacement on the saws itself. So you know, but that's your correct chain tension. That, that should be just like that. You could be able to lift it a little bit, but it should not too much. They do, they do get uh, stretched a bit as they get hotter when you're using them. So you have to be careful of that and um, effectively keep an eye on the tension. But uh, this tension has gone a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit chewed. But um, that's that's nothing. That's, that's just, still works. Still works good. This one actually, instead of having the black and the red, this one that's the lock. And you unlock it and then you just adjust it with the tension here, going up or down on a on a roller, as you can see, plus or minus. So, in a nutshell, I can highly recommend both these saws. Uh, if you're looking for a budget chainsaw, obviously you're not going to be chopping trees down with these darn things. You're going you're to be doing wrist thick limbs you know or logs you're going you're gonna to be doing a wood pile um, but um, don't try and fell a tree with it because you're going you're gonna to get yourself injured that's a fact anyway I'll leave you on Jimmy there he is sleeping away snoozing away isn't it and thank you very much for watching as always all the very best wishes cheers